Well, Jordy, you're at the bottom of that dog pile. It's a tough getting up. The tears are starting to come. How hard is this from the inside trying to get those outs and trying to get this championship? Why are you talking about that last inning? All of it. I mean, it's hard to get here. Um, I don't really know. I don't have a lot of words right now. You, you come in in the fifth inning. You've got a lead. Your offense has put up some numbers to support you. What did go through your mind when you step into the circle in that fifth inning to kind of close this out? Just shut it down. Don't give them anything. Um, spin good pitches. Trust the defense. And let's just get out of here. Last couple of pitches, it was 72 miles an hour for you. How are you amped up and just trying to get those final strikes? That's funny because I was actually trying to be like 70% just so I wouldn't overthrow. So that's actually really funny. Yeah, you talked a little bit about how early in the season you were struggling. There's a lot of pressure. The expectations are heavy on this team. How have you stuck together as a group through all the ups and downs, all of the weight of this win streak to win on this field tonight? We stick together. Um, it's not just one person that feels it, but we all feel it. So uh, sticking together through that is probably one of the toughest challenges that this year's brought. I know you got a lot of family, friends at home in Papillon, Nebraska. Tell us what you want to shout out to their papillion. Um, no matter where you're from, whether it's the Midwest, wherever you're from, like you can do it. It doesn't have to be a big softball state. It can be any state. Thank you, Jordy. Thank you. And Jordy Ball, the Capital One Tournament Most Outstanding Player. And a spectacular postseason performance.